Apple TV Plus have done it again with another gripping drama that looks just beautiful on your screens. Today we're talking Shantaram. It took me a long time. Some hard lessons to learn what I know about chasing redemption. I was a wanted man with a price on my head. But for now, I was free. Hello and welcome to Screen OD, the channel for people who love TV, movies and streaming. My name is Tim, I'm an editor and a journalist who's been writing and talking about the media industry for more than 15 years. Now anyone who is familiar with the works of Apple TV+, Plus, you might already be a subscriber, will know that they have had a fantastic 2022 when it comes to drama. And now we have Shantaran, which is their latest effort and I think you're going to be pleased that they've kept this role going. I was on the run with no home and no country. Bombay was a place where everyone started new. Okay, so what's this one all about? Well, the story of Shantaran is based on a book by Gregory David Roberts from 2003, which if you've got a long memory or a little bit older like me, you may remember was a huge blockbuster back in the day. Now it's taken 20 years almost for it to get onto the screen, which may be a surprise to some people as it was such a big hit. Now it tells the story of Lynn Ford, who is an Australian bank robber who manages to escape from prison and he goes to start a new life on the run in India. Lynn turns up in the 1980s in Bombay. He has a small amount of money, a fake ID and a dream of staying ahead of the law. He walks into Reynaldo's cafe which is where he will meet Prabhu who becomes a friend of him and introduces him to a community of people who are all kind of not wanting to be on the radar in the traditional sense. And so our story begins of a man who starts to build a life whilst trying to get away from an old life. I'm number one guide in Bombay. Thank you, but no. Yes, sir. But only after three no's, it is a two no. This is Sagarwada, my home. This place is not working without everyone helping each other. Lynn once had a decent life as a paramedic, but he fell into a life of crime after becoming addicted to heroin. And in this story, we learn more about how that happened and what might happen next. This is a redemption story. This is a dizzying story in 1980s Bombay, a place that has an electric atmosphere. He makes friends and he also has enemies. This is a story that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's compelling, it's exciting, and it's enthralling. Why do you help in Sagarada? I know what I did, what I need to pay for. We must all find a way to balance our bad. For a man who doesn't want trouble, you keep interesting company. When I ask something of you, you will do it. Or this place will burn. The show stars Charlie Hunman as Lynn, who uh, you, many of you may know from Sons of Anarchy. And he does a great performance at the centre of this show as someone who is clearly grappling with the past at the same time as having to deal with the clear and the present dangers that are there in the world that he lives in now. It's not an easy role to play, and I think he does it very well. And it may sound like a cliche, but I think that one of the big stars of this show is the city and the vibrancy of 1980s Bombay that lives around all of the cast. This is colourful. This is exciting. This feels dangerous. This feels like there is a real energy to it. And that comes across beautifully on screen from the way that it's been produced. And as we know, these Apple TV Plus originals always have incredibly high production values, but it's also directed in a way that keeps you on the edge. It makes you feel like something is going to come out of nowhere. Everyone here is running away from something. It doesn't work. Trust me. I'm in serious trouble. I'm not going back empty-handed. This is a show that has a lot going on, especially in the first episode. There are lots of stories from the past and the present that start to come together. So you do need to concentrate, but it does start to settle down as you get used to the rhythm of all of the things that are going on in this frenetic environment of 1980s Bombay. There is a kind of spirituality to it as well. There is, as I say, a redemption story underlying it. And at times, some of those things really do come to the fore. Now, that may offend some. I actually quite like it. This is a show that I think if you like 
good drama and you want a show that can really take you to a place and take you to a time that is different to where you're sitting watching it on your phone or your laptop or your big screen, then this is one that you want to try out. You should have gone when you had the chance. You can be free of anything but yourself. I guess I need to be running towards something. Not away from it. Shantaram is available to watch right now on Apple TV Plus, which is a streaming service, as I said, that I think has been on a bit of a roll recently. If you haven't tried it, I think you can get a free trial still. So go and look at Shantaram, but also why not check out things like Severance, We Crashed, Pachinko, The Essex Serpent, Bad Sisters, Slow Horses. There's loads of great stuff on there. Shining Girls. I just can't keep listening to them. They're just coming off the top of my head. Yes, there's lots to watch. So go and try it out. Thanks so much for watching Screen OD. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, why not hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be back for more very, very soon.